Hi guys, story recaps here, I am going to explain, a 2008 American science fiction, comedy film called, Meet Dave. Please try to like, or dislike the video, it is important to us. A lightning item is seen approaching the earth at the start of the movie, Josh, a young boy, was also watching it via his telescope, and the ball rapidly lands in a fishbowl in his room, it absorbs water quickly, surprisingly, Josh had picked up on it. Three months have passed in the film's next scene. As it reaches the ground, the ball is seen once more. This was a considerably greater fireball than the previous one, and it landed near Liberty Island in the water. The ball appears to be a man in a white suit as the fire burns out. The man enters the city in an unorthodox way. Everyone seemed to be staring at him oddly. While crossing a road, he collides with a car. But he was unharmed. He simply folds his feet strangely, and the man vanishes as the car driver comes to save him. He afterward stands alone in a deserted area. His ear is like a gate that opens and closes. A tiny man emerges from it, and the man uses a rope to reach the man's legs. There was a tiny gate in the way. The man pushes a nearby button to open it. He finds, lots of faulty wiring there. The small man begins mending the leg's wire. The man in charge of the leg travels to the brain. We conclude this isn't a guy or an extraterrestrial, but a full-fledged spaceship after seeing everything. It was controlled by a team of 100 hundred humanoids, who were introduced in the film with numbers. The captain of this ship is crew member number one. The captain's assistant is the second crew member. In the future, he will be known as the captain. Here, crew member number three is in command of the system. The command ship is under the supervision of the ship's captain. There were many aliens to manage each bodily component and they reported everything to the captain. The captain was notified in the report that the ship was not working due to the accident. This ship, however, will be repaired according to the Earth's 2,3 days. The ship's tracking system was also damaged. The captain summons the members of the crew to a meeting. We discovered that they were from the planet, Nil, and that their planet was destined to be destroyed due to a scarcity of resources. They require the Earth's salt and water. They will be able to save their world as a result of it. They come from the planet to harvest water and salt from the Earth's balls for this reason. They've completely lost it. We've already seen the ball with Josh. Orb was the name of the ball. They've come to look for the ball, for years. The Earth's salt can provide energy to the Nil planet. That is why they have chosen to visit the planet. From his window, Josh discovers a human-like ship. He dials his mother, whose car was involved in the collision with the ship. When they get at the ship, the lady apologizes to the crew. Aliens are startled when they see them. The ship appears to be human from the outside, but the aliens are unaware of this. How do you act like a human? For the first time, they were about to communicate with humans. They enlist the assistance of Google for this. They will have a better understanding of human behavior and will find it easier to communicate with people. The captain of the human ship attempts to converse with the lady in human terms. The police officers are pictured searching for the enigmatic ball. They travel to the location where the ship landed. They discover someone's facial impression at the crash site. They figure out what he looks like. The entire city was on the lookout for him. The human ship was attempting to communicate with the lady. Due to the high frequency, things break all across the ship as it tries to interact with them. I am okay, the spacecraft says to the lady when setting the frequency. After dropping Josh off at school, the lady invites the ship to her home. The captain of the ship introduces himself as Dave. They used Google to look up the name. In the movie, We'll now refer to the ship as Dave. The shipmates see Josh's picture via Dave's eyes, in which they discover their misplaced ball, orb. Josh's mother informs the ship that this ball was displayed in Josh's science exhibition. Josh's whereabouts is tracked by the ship. Dave takes a step back and excuses himself. Dave's mobility was being controlled by crew member number two. People used to get on his nerves, because no one on the earth follows the rules and regulations. The rules and regulations were being broken by everyone. Their commander asked the doctor to keep a watch on member number two and observe his wrath. Dave was making his way to the front of the park, where the youngsters think he's the ice cream vendor. Dave visits a shopping mall to change his clothes. He now requires funds to purchase clothing. With the help of his hand scanner, he scans the money. In the dressing room, he pulls out the identical prints. Dave is a student at Josh's school. He is assigned to the class by the principal who considers him a teacher, where is the ball orb, Dave inquires of Josh. He claims that some nefarious youngsters in his class have seized his ball. Josh transports Dave to the boy's residence. They were unable to locate the boy, they go back to Josh's house. Dave enjoys himself when he is with Josh. 
Meanwhile, Josh's mother comes over to Dave's house for supper. The captain of the ship accepts this. For the simple reason that he was in danger outdoors, the captain is informed by crew member 4 that he will be stopping here for the time being. The ship's exposure risk will increase, but the captain overlooks it because they were about to show Dave around their house after dinner. There's a painting Dave sees. Dave thinks it's fantastic. According to the lady, this painting depicts love and emotion. Dave poses the question, how can we find love? She responds that whenever it occurs, we are already aware of it. Dave is taken aback when he hears this. Dave decides to spend the night on the road after that. In the cold, a man hands him a scarf to keep him warm. Dave's captain is taken aback by this. The aliens recognize that humans are more advanced than them because of their kindness. The ship spends the night here, and Dave naps. Inside Dave, the captain informs the doctor that the spacecraft is exhibiting some unusual behaviors. After that, the captain returns to the control room and discovers that crew member number three is still working. She informs the captain that she has checked a file, and that humans have only seen this once in their lives. It was an emotional American film. The captain and number three were weeping at the end of the film as they watched it. Following that, the captain and number three go to their sleeping quarters. The next morning, Dave's battery was barely 20% charged. The cops were on the lookout for him. Josh and Dave head to the park. He enters the hot dog eating competition after a train travel. He gives the soft toy to Josh's mother after winning the tournament. As he goes out of the room, Dave notices other kids bullying Josh. Dave twists them around to administer the punishment. They discover that the orb refers to the alien's ball. Dave interprets this to suggest that the ship aliens are delighted as a result of it. Josh's family is invited to supper by Dave. Josh's mother's birthday is being celebrated. However, crew member two disagrees with the captain. If we have Orc, he says we should focus on our mission. However, the captain claims that they assisted them in obtaining the ball. As a result, we must take action to help Josh and his mother. Dave experiences human emotions while living with humans. Someone has a nasty attitude, and his room has been transformed into a dancing club. Crew number two is filled with rage and passion. Number three was dressed to the nines. She wants to dance with the captain. After all, the captain refuses her since he is in charge of the ship, which means Dave. While Dave was dancing with the lady at the party, number three was hurt and had to leave. When the cops arrest Dave in the hotel, number two feels enraged by everyone's altered conduct. The number two joins the army and encourages them to help them with their mission. All of the crew, including number three, joins with number two, and the officers were able to hear the aliens talk, due to Dave's open speaker. The cops suspect he is an alien soldier. The police officers leave the inquiry room, thinking he might be an alien soldier, in the spacecraft, the new leader reminds them that no alien behavior will be tolerated. Dave breaks the police station wall with his handgun. He was leaving from this location. He is shot by the cops for stopping him. But he is unaffected by any bullet. To evade the new leader's fury, an alien jumps outside the spacecraft. From Dave's perspective, the number two sees Josh and his mother in the police station. Dave continues to carry out his mission, according to his new leader. Josh was putting in a lot of effort on the number two. As a result, number three is anxious about the mission's failure. That's why she lets go of her real commander. They were apprehended and tossed out through Dave's nose. The little aliens were now attempting to flee from humans and dogs. While fighting to reach the ship, they see a plastic bag that they are using as a hot air balloon. The bag became entangled in the windscreen wiper. The wiper functions as a launcher, launching them at Dave. They apologize to Captain Number 3 and stress that if he is not with them on this journey, it will be difficult. They move inside the ship during this time. Dave brings an automobile to a halt so that its energy is not wasted. It requests to be relocated to Liberty Island. Josh tells his mother that since Dave is incapable of performing these horrible chores, they should assist him. The small extraterrestrial is apprehended by the cops and taken to the police station. Dave's heart skipped a beat as he heard that. When the cops see it, they order Dave to be followed. When they arrive at Liberty Island, the new captain tells Dave to throw Orb into the water, where it will accumulate sea salt. The first captain comes in the meantime. He intervenes and prevents Dave from doing so. Inside, everyone was informed that Dave, the captain, had regained command. All of the crew members come to an agreement. As a result of his fall, the orc has also slipped from Dave's hands. It sinks beneath the surface of the sea. The water from the ocean is absorbed by the ball. The captain attempts to put a stop to it, but it takes a lot of energy. He is out of energy so they must either save the earth or return to their home planet. 
the captain obtains authorization from his crew to save Earth, they've all come to the same conclusion because they've learned something from the Earth, to care for and assist others. Dave uses his energy to save the planet, Dave's powers had worn off. And the cops arrived, Josh was also with the cops, and he rapidly charged Dave while using the officer's taser. As Dave gets charged his lips gets open like a gate. The captain and number three show up and tell the cops everything they know about them. We will receive energy resources from another planet. They declare as they say their goodbyes to Josh's family. However, we shall not hurt the environment. Hearing this, the cops loaded the tiny alien onto the ship as well. Dave prepares to travel to his world. His body is the source of the current. The FBI arrives as he ascends and sets up a trap for Dave from the chopper. As the officers approached, the ship's crew gathered in a detachable area that served as a lifeboat. It was Dave's shoe now they leave while igniting their rocket. In front of them, only the ship and number two remain. They left them in the lifeboat, with captain number three in charge. The movie comes to a close here. Subscribe, and turn on the notification. You can also dislike, or like the video, do appreciate our hard work.